how many of you know that you can run health assessment on your application and understand what are the vulnerabilities what are the open source recommendations which vmware or the spring team has for you based on the applications which you have you can understand the open source support over a period of time and also understand the runtime support which you will get on these libraries which you are using within your spring application in this video we are going to look at spring health assessment using which you can understand how vulnerable your application is let's get started recently vmware announced the spring health assessment using which you can provide a dependency list to vmware and they can run an assessment and then give you findings around your application which you can use it for upgrading your application and getting to know the health of your application so i'm going to use um latest application which we created in the last video we created uh, an application using spring ai so i'm going to use the spring ai um, example application which we created so this is my spring ai application i have the source code here so i'm going to use this application to understand like how is my health of this application right so in order to do that i can go to the spring health assessment dashboard from vmware i'm going to hit get started you need to provide some business information here but before that we need to also generate the dependencies from the project right so they have given even the command i'm having a maven project so i'm just going to copy it if you have maven windows select the maven windows gradle etc right i'm going to use this to run this in my project so this is going to create a spring dependencies.txt file so i'm going to use that um, to give it to my assessment here so i'm going to use that uh, text file here let me select that i'm going to go to the code spring AI example dependencies right i have selected the spring dependencies of my project i'm going to give some uh, business information let me fill info.info at techprimers.com So I've filled all these information. I am going to hit generate report. And notice here the assessment is completed and you can see we have 19% of the libraries without OSS support, right? That means there is some library which got um, support which will end soon. There is some library which has like 3% of the libraries with vulnerability. There is no upgrade effort because I just created this app uh, today on June 7th. So see that 25 open source libraries are present out of which six is unsupported right so it shows that after september 25th there are going to be a lot of unsupported libraries right that's what this says and also the runtime is completely supported till 2026 i think we are good so let's look at what are these libraries which are going to be unsupported so see here spring retry 2.6 will be um support unsupported right soon i think there is no supportability um again there are some versions like m1 version of spring ai this is because uh, spring ai has not uh, gone into the 1.0.0 version we are using 1.0.0 milestone version that's why i think this is there these we can ignore it right the only thing i think we have uh, issue with is spring retry 2.0.6 i think we are all good here all the other things are fine now let's look at an application which is a very old application right using spring boot 2 version right let me upload that and then show you in a, here so i've generated the report for that uh, you can see that there are tons of issues here in this application right there are 26 spring libraries used 100 percentage of the library is without support basically there is no support for this application because it's a very old version of spring boot 2.1 uh, uh, or something like that right or even 1.5 i'm not even sure it's pretty old right and you can see 65 percentage of the libraries are with vulnerabilities and 80 88 percentage of the libraries needs high effort to upgrade these libraries right and this is a completely trash app right and you can see all these uh, mentioned here so spring cloud starter ribbon needs um um, upgrade because it's using 1.3 version uh, spring boot is using 1.5.6 uh, 
right so that's those are all the vulnerabilities and i can see um what is the upgrade plan as well right so if i see here i need to upgrade spring cloud commons from 2.x to 4.1.x right same way for each and every vulnerability it also mentions the vulnerability list here so see here there is a transitive dependency which i am affected with all these are listed as well so spring health assessment doesn't need your application as such it just requires uh, spring dependency.txt file which you can generate from your uh, maven dependencies and you can feed it to the spring health assessment and it understands and identifies the spring issues or the uh, vulnerabilities or the support which that particular application has right with respect to a timeline right this is pretty helpful if you're running production applications and you want to understand how is your oss support um, things will change over a period of time if your application is not changing if your application is not getting updated then do leverage the spring health assessment to understand how is your application's tech depth i hope this particular video was interesting as always if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much